Hi guys, it's Monday the 8th of February and here's your starter. Hit pause on the screen now to have a go at these questions. We're going to move on to the answers in 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Here are your answers. Give yourself a mark. Remember a tick if you've got it and a dot if not. We're going to move on to the second part of our starter activity now. In 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. So here is the second part of your starter. A little bit of revision on subtracting fractions. If you're feeling really confident, you can skip this. But if you're still not sure, I recommend having a go and then having a check of the answers with me. So I'm going to go through the answers in three, two and one. So for our first one, eight eighths take away three eighths should leave us with five eighths. Nine twelfths take away blank twelfths gives us four twelfths. Well, we know that nine take away four gives us five. So nine take away five will give us four. Something take away two is five. The answer is seven because two add five is seven. 18 take away something equals one whole. Now this one's a little bit tricky because we've got and the extra step. We know that one whole is the same as nine ninths. And to turn 18 into nine ninths, we need to take away nine. So 18 ninths take away 9 ninths equals 9 ninths or 1 whole. Here we've got two bar models and the bottom one is missing an amount. It's missing 5 sevenths. And finally, 5 sixths add 3 sixths add 1 sixth equals 1 and what? The answer there is 1 and 3 sixths, which could also be written as 1 and a half. Okay. Moving on to today's focus. So we're still looking at subtracting fractions, but now we're looking at subtracting them from whole numbers, from whole amounts. And to start us off, we've got this example. I'm going to work through this example. If you want to take notes at home, I recommend it. Then I'm going to do an example together and I'm going to set you off on your task. So we have two wholes, take away five eighths. The first thing I'm going to do is imagine these two wholes in my head. I want to take away five eighths, which means I need to turn these two holes into eighths. There we are. You can see I've split one of them up into eight pieces. There are eight eighths in one hole. In two holes, there would be 16 eighths, two lots of eight. I want to take away five eighths and I can cross them off here. So one, two, three, four, five. I've subtracted five eighths from my two holes. Now I've got one whole and one, two, three eighths left over. There's our answer. Now, if we look at it this way, so two holes subtract five eighths. We split our fraction. Oh, this is just the same one again. That's fine, we'll skip this. That's my fault, guys, sorry. So two holes take away 10 eighths. So here are our holes again. I'm imagining them in my head. If it helps you to draw them out, you can do. I would recommend not trying to rely on this too much though. I want to subtract 10 eighths. So I need to split my holes into eighths. There we are. There's eight eighths there. I've taken away all eight at the moment, but I need to take away 10. So I need to take away two more from this first hole. So I've got my two holes split into eighths and I've taken away 10 eighths. And that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. Six eighths could also be written as three quarters because it's an equivalent fraction. Both answers would be correct. Now we've got three holes and 10 eighths. Before I can do anything, I need to imagine my holes and turn them into fractions. How many eighths do you think we will have in three holes? Pause and have a think. So here are my three holes. I'm going to split the bottom one into eighths and I'm going to take away all eight. I need to take away 10, which means two more. So I shall split my second bar model into eighths and take away those two more. This leaves me with one hole that I haven't needed to subtract from and one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. So my final answer is going to be one whole and six eighths. I could write this in a number of different ways. I could find the equivalent fraction. So we know that six eighths is the same as three quarters. 
So my answer could also be one whole and three quarters. Okay, now I'm going to ask you to have a go. This is just our part whole model. I'm going to ask you to have a go at the questions on teams. There are a couple of different questions to try today. If you're feeling stuck at all, come on to Teams on the Ask the Teachers channel and I'll do a couple of them with you to have a go. The best way to do these is just to practice. Remember, before you can solve any problem, you need to turn that whole number into a fraction. Split it up into your eighths, your tenths, whatever fraction it is you're working with. Have a go. Let's see how you get on. See you later. Bye. <laughs>